Hello, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, and I apologetically apologize, that right, uh, unequivocally for the mess behind me because I have been cleaning, and uh, this is a haul video and a tell you what's going on video. <laughs> Kathy says I look like an Amish with his beard. So, and while Kathy was here, the ratty patty one, the evil ratty patty struck again. And did something so outrageous, but I'm going to save that. Kathy's going to come by after the first of the month to see me as a belated birthday together, get together. My birthday is the 28th. I will accept all presents, gifts, and donations. And I turn 65. It's going to be a special day. I'm going to be officially really old guy. And so I want to show you what I bought. But Patty did something that if it were me, Patty would have been taken away and put in a nut house or something. We're both shaking our heads, but I won't ruin it for you. Anyway, here's what I got. And by the way, I've been going to Safeway for years. Screw Safeway. I got all this stuff at Big Lots and Food Max, and it would have cost me double at Safeway. So here we go. And I haven't done, I know you don't, like, some of you don't like haul videos, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing because I cleaned the kitchen today, the kitchen floor, I saturated with 409 three, three times because there's always grease on the floor when I cook spaghetti and soup. It's only I cook on the stove because three of the burners don't work half the time. And the maintenance guy came in yesterday and said, you need a new stove. I said, oh, yeah, because the elements keep burning the burners out. And I've been bitching about it for 11 years. He said, we can't do it to get all this stuff out of the way. So I'm going to be doing that. I get rid of some of these things or move them around. Get rid of two broken bookcases. I got a lot of work to do. My back is killing me. And um, so I did the kitchen floor. I hit the stove with an easy off. And Kathy said, Jesus couldn't help that. So I said, come in the kitchen. I took a sponge with some hot water, ran over the stove. This is non-fume, easy off. And the grease was 90% gone and was done. I said, you better call me Jesus. And uh, I can walk on water now. And I watched a video with Jay Leno, weird things you find at the 99 cent dollar store. They had a surfing Jesus, so I better get my surfboard. Uh, no offense to anybody else who's a Christian, but it was really weird to see a, a Jesus figurine on a surfboard hanging tan. I guess in the Sea of Galilee, he had to do stuff between uh, making fish and bread and all that stuff. So he went surfing, you know. And he can walk on water, but it's easier to ride on the surfboard, I guess. But it's funny thing to see in for a dollar and dollars to serving Jesus. Caddy said they should add serving Moses. And I said, yeah, that's pretty clever, too. <laughs> that would have been funny. All right. Lysol all-purpose cleaner. And there's a big difference between this and 409. This works better. And the makers of 409, which is Clorox, this has a long straw, which you can refill it. While I'm saving the bottles of these, I had to throw away the Tylex because they're made by the makers of Clorox. And Clorox decided about right here to remove the former long straw. So when the bottle gets down below a certain level, you can't spray with it. And it's useless, except there's an empty bottle for storage. And if you try to hang it because they cut it off, I called Clorox up, and one day my entire bottle fell on the floor. I hung it up on a thing. On, I have this baker's, small baker's rack. I hung it up. It would clunk, hit the floor, opened up. The whole bottle went on the floor. They sent me a coupon for a new one. So I don't buy 409 anymore because, in the bottles like this because you can't use them once they're down about here. So it's really stupid design to save a few cents. And, uh, okay. It's really aggravating that I have to switch the 409 into the empty one of these and save these or go look in the recycling bin for spray bottles that someone's using. Now, I can get one of Big Lots, a spray bottle for a dollar, but the problem with those, they're cheap and they don't always work. They stop working after a while. These work indefinitely. All right, Comet Cleanser, I already had a can, but I got this for a dollar, Pet Fresh OxyClean. You know, we tried OxyClean when it came out with laundry soap. It didn't work. So, but Arm & Hammer has always worked with the baking soda. Okay, a whole bunch of cat food. So, uh, put that over here. 
ten dollars and quarters. Uh, I have a can somewhere. More cat food. Um, Welch's uh, fruit grape juice cocktail. I love Concord grape juice. Two cans of chicken in the sea. And I'm feeling so much better. All right, we have here beer battered fish. I didn't realize I was grabbing two of the same crunchy dinner fish. Two ninety nine. These are four dollars at Target or more, and five dollars in something at Safeway. Now this is the command hooks. I'm gonna hook there. It's really weird. There's a metal area above my hall closet that one of which has two of which have no doors. But I thought they're magnetic. They're not. I don't know what they're made out of. But I'm gonna get more of these. This was three dollars, I think. And you clean the thing off. You stick these. You can remove them. They won't affect the paint. But what I'm gonna do is get a bunch of these, line them up against the wall, and if they spaz out, I'll move them. And then I can put my backpack up there and my uh, these things because they're all over my house. When they got rid of plastic bags. You wind up with about a million of these things. So they're all over the place. And it drives me crazy. We had a whole table full of stuff. Okay. Two rolls of paper towels so I can clean the kitchen counter. I got part of the kitchen counter clean. The ever popular kielbasa because I'm too tired to cook. A This was two uh, dollar and something at Food Max for peaches and cream. Quaker instant oatmeal, which I love. And it's easy to cook. You throw in a bowl, a little butter and honey and your water, and in two minutes you got breakfast. So I got that. Now the same box at Walmart is two fifty. At Safeway it's almost four dollars. A grapefruit. Uh, I bought two bell. I got two bell peppers for free yesterday. I was going to get lettuce, but I didn't have enough money. There's two tomatoes. So what I'll make is tomato and bell pepper and tuna fish salad tomorrow. One orange, because I didn't want to carry a lot of stuff. I'm trying to eat a lot of oranges, but uh, I wanted the taste of an orange in my mouth, because my mouth still feels yucky. All the medication I'm taking. Okay, Dad's Root Beer. Uh, it's a dollar. And, and finally, oh yeah, Johnny Cat. Cat box liners. Everybody, the haters say I don't change cat box. This is an empty bin. I'll put paperwork or laundry in that when I'm done washing it. Again, I have four bins in the hallway. I've got to get them out of the hallway because it'll spaz up blocking the hallway. And then this stuff, this is Paws 10 pound Happy Life. I didn't know cats had a happy life with cat litter. Happy Life fragrance free clay cat litter. Well, the thing is that this is $2 and something for 10 pounds, which came to four. I think it was two nineteen, and the same bag of Johnny Cat cost four eighty nine at Food Max. So I can get twenty pounds of this for less than twenty five pounds. I lose a poundage, but I'm not carrying this humongous bag. I carry these on my back, and that way I have a I have one clumpable litter, but you can't throw that down the toilet. It's a pain in the ass. You got to scoop it out, put it in a plastic bag, and throw it down the garbage chute. So this is what I got for fifty dollars, uh, and I have a roll of quarters, and uh, that's do some laundry at Food Max and Big Lots tonight. So it would have cost me probably eighty or hundred at Safeway. I have a coupon for you buy forty at Safeway, you get five dollars off your order. So I got to look to see how good that is still, but I'll probably just go and get. Um, Wait till I get money. Now this, I never buy this, but I didn't have money to buy the big arm and hammer I usually buy. I bought this last week. This was tied. It was on sale for like two dollars at Safeway or something. Uh, the problem with tied in the past, at least the powdered stuff. Every time I used it, my mother used it. Made, she stopped using it. The the powdered made or made you itch when you wore the clothes. I don't know why. What the hell they put in it? Phosphates or something. So that that's it. Um, those boxes. You, Excuse me. Behind me are empty, and uh, uh, there's boxes here that are either empty or got stuff in them. I'm going to go through them, take everything off the bed. I need to lie down, put the 
groceries that are going to go bad away. Cook my fish dinner. Uh, Kathy stayed here last night. I made her laugh. We were laughing and joking until about 3 in the morning. I kept saying things that struck me as funny. And she started breaking up, and then we started breaking each other up. So that's how we spent our night between sleeping. And then this woman, one thing about Kathy, though, she has the weakest bladder, uh, even worse than mine. She was, I would go to sleep. She woke me up one point, kicked a bottle. Was, we picked up all the cans and bottles off the floor because I ran out of the room. I was too tired to put them away. And woke me up by kipping an empty bottle. I'll take those in next week to get, that will get me more um, cat food money. And, um, and litter. Then I'll go to, and Walmart wants, tw wants $4.00. And I don't know, 50 cents for a 25 pound bag of cat litter. It's getting ridiculous. For, and this is clay cat litter. This isn't the super deluxe stuff in a box or a tub or um, somebody's getting tidy cat in these jugs. And she wanted one. So I gave her one. And uh, that's like eight, nine, 10, 12 bucks, depending what brand you get. And that's the clumping litter. I use them. I pour the clay litter in those with a. I make a scoop out of a. Uh, two liter soda bottle, cut the bottom out and then keep the cap on and then scoop the cat litter out of the one thing of the bag where I just pour it out of the bag into the two liter bottle and have it go in one of the Johnny Cat or when someone throws away a clumping litter jug, I pour it in there till it's full and that way I don't have all these bags of cat litter lying around and I have one big barrel in the bedroom in the bathroom underneath the table and that holds about 20 pounds of clay litter. So I don't have all this mess with all these empty bags on it. I recycle empty bags. But um, Kathy says she's got all this cat litter herself and she can't lift the bags. I said, make a false scoop out of a soda bottle and then keep the bottom, wash it out really well with soap and hot water and use that as a water dish for the cat. Or you shouldn't give them plastic, but... You can do an emergency dish for the cat or a dry food for outside kitties and feed them or a water dish for outside kitties. And it, it's, you know, you spend a dime or something for the CRV, you've ruined a bottle. But that makes an airsats funnel and all the 25 pounds of cat litter goes right in the bucket or whatever and I'm done with it. All right. Um, I have to get this place straightened out. It will be. My back feels like someone took a giant rubber band and went, <laughs> but um, I will get this place cleaned up and you'll see a considerably cleaner apartment because I will have the energy to clean it. Now, I went and fed the outdoor kitties today and I'm still a little weak. I turned, pivoted on my right foot and started to keel over. I got dizzy because I'm doing a little too much. I'm not up to speed yet, but I'll get there. All right, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Sorry to go on for so long, but I want to let people know what's going on. And we're both still shaking our head over the ratty one. And uh, Aaron wants to know what the ratty one <laughs> looks like. One of my videos, the ratty one, I think is in it, where she punches me in the car when we're on the way to go see George Norrie that we didn't see. And you can see her punch me, and she hit her face like this. And open lines Jerry had an illustration of the there's a picture of the ratty one and on the road with the ratty one so she's in those ratty video ratty patty videos you can see her face if you wonder what the ratty one looks like but um the latest thing is just like I, I, we can't believe it kathy was livid when she came home so uh have a great day and a great uh, rest of the week and i will see you tomorrow night live as i do bird unbagging and talk about whatever and I'm reading in another book here uh, the way I put it it's uh, the presidents and UFOs I've gotten about two chapters in that all right and I'm enjoying that so far it's a very interesting book bye bye and I'll see you later